Hey guys, Polycount here, and please bear with me since it's my first video, but I just want to show you guys my process for stretching my canvases for uh, painting. Uh, here I'm going to show off some of the materials that you're going to need for stretching canvas. Um, obviously you have your stretcher bar on your canvas, uh, so have a staple gun, uh, canvas stretching pliers, uh, a hammer, and some scissors. I'm actually going to jump backwards a bit here to show you uh, how I put the frame together. Today I'm going to be stretching a 30 inch by 24 inch canvas and with this big of a canvas uh, I'm going to be using thicker stretcher bars just to prevent any warping that might happen uh, during stretching. And with a bigger size uh, I will actually use uh, corners as well as uh, center bars as well. Uh, again to make sure uh, the frame holds up and there's no warping uh, as I'm stretching. Uh, some advantages of uh, stretching your own canvas is that it tends to be cheaper and you get more value for your money, um, especially when you're buying in bulk and you have more than a few paintings to work on. And it also tends to feel more personal uh, when you're done knowing that you've kind of made the painting from scratch you feel more ownership over your project. So here I'm about done and I'm going to show you guys uh, that there are two sides of the frame. There's a flat side for the back where you're going to staple into and one side with the bevel uh, which you want to face front. And here we're going to start uh, stretching the canvas. I'm going to find one side of the bar and just fold the canvas over and put two three staples in the center. Uh, note that I actually have a wall, uh, you, I'm using a wall in front of me um, so that when I'm stretching, I'm actually stretching against the wall, which is flat, uh, instead of pulling towards my body, uh, which is sometimes leads to uneven stretching. Uh, and then also, you can leverage more, uh, more of your weight against the wall rather than towards yourself. Um, it also makes it easier uh, if uh, the canvas is too long that you can't reach the other side, you can always just pull away from you um, so it's easier. I'm going to repeat this process uh, for all four sides, uh, basically one across from each other and then the two sides. Uh, I just wanted to give a disclaimer that this video is not sponsored uh, but the materials I'm using are from Blick Art Supplies. It's really just a personal preference um, wherever you can find your art, local art supply store you can use whatever they have. So now I have all four sides uh, stapled and set and what I'm going to start doing now is staple uh, either side of the center and just move outwards toward the corners on all four sides. I'm going to rotate uh, every time I'm done with one side. So three on the left side, three on the right. And I'm going to rotate to the other side and stretch across. I'm just speeding the video up because it gets more repetitive. Um, I'm going to basically keep doing this until I reach the corners and then I'm going to show how I fold the corners uh, to each side. So here we are. Uh, I've basically stretched and stapled all four sides of the bars uh, until I've reached the corner. And here I'm going to show you guys how I'm uh, folding the corner in. Uh, I actually realized I had too much canvas in the corner and it was uh, impossible to get a clean fold. Um, so I realized the solution to this was basically just cut out some of the canvas. You really don't need uh, any more than I have here and really this is kind of extra. Uh, so if you want to save canvas that way you can be more economical about it.
shows you that you have a really well stretched canvas. Just cleaning up a little bit here. And for the next part, I'm just gonna have a um, video of me just throwing the canvas. Um, and my battery actually dies before I was able to finish. Um, but I'll just end it here. And a couple notes about gessoing is I usually have uh, two to three layers and after each layer dries uh, I'll sand it uh, down with sandpaper uh, just to have a more even smooth surface for painting. Um, and you notice I'm actually using tweezers to pull out any hairs uh, that I find uh, falling off the paintbrush. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something. Um, please leave me any questions if you have any and uh, enjoy. Thank you.